Each day you receive dozens of evil messages, but not all of them are helpful or even wanted. It could be that you're still on an email list from a former project, or you just received messages from a complete stranger. And even though Gmail has a pretty good spam management, there's still times you're gonna get messages that you don't want. Before we continue, remember that you can get professional templates with Envato Elements, which give you unlimited downloads of presentation templates such as these word print tables that you're seeing, and even more elements like website themes or photos. Hi, I'm Sergio Sala and welcome to Envato Plus. If you receive unwanted messages and you use Gmail, in this video, I'm going to give you all the steps you need to eliminate all those unwanted messages. So there's basically two sources of unwanted messages, from contacts that you knew or you know, and contacts that you don't know. Unwanted messages from people that you know can happen when you leave a job or a project and your email stays on their mailing list. Unwanted messages from people that you don't know, it can come from spammers that somehow they get your email address. And spammers may use a tool to search the web for email addresses posted online. Then they send spam messages to the address they have found. So quick note about cyberbullying. If you're receiving threatening emails, do not delete it. You need to save the message as an evidence of what's going on. And then you have to report it to your online service provider. If threats are being made, you can involve law enforcement. Just go to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services site, stopbullying.gov, to learn more about cyberbullying. So now we'll review how to create a filter in Gmail to block messages from someone by email address. Start by opening the message from the sender you want to block. And then click on the three dots icon and just a drop menu will display. Find where it says block and then name option. And then a confirmation message will display indicating the future messages from this sender will be marked as spam. So just click on block. And when you do so, it will ask you if you want to move it right away to the spam. So we're just going to click on move to spam. And if we go to the menu on the left, you're going to find the folder of spam. And now any message from the sender, it will be directly sent to spam. Block a sender, go back to the message, and then reopen the three dots and it's just click on where it says unblock and the name, but you can also do it here in this gray confirmation area. So just click on unblock sender. It will ask you if you want to unblock and then just click on unblock and it will go again to the main inbox. Now let's look at how to filter emails in Gmail automatically. You can also use the filter to send messages from a specific sender straight to a certain label. For example, Perhaps I want to filter all the messages from a former employee so they will automatically go to a certain label. So here's how to do it. Click the arrow on the right of the Gmail search bar to display the advanced Gmail search box. Start typing the name of the sender that you want to filter and then where it says create filter, just click on it and then it will give you many options of how you want to filter your message. For example, you can start it, you can delete it, you can always mark it as important. So what we're gonna do is just apply the label so we can filter through a message. I'm gonna create a new label. So we're gonna name it um, former employees and then create. And now every time that I get a message from this sender, it will go automatically to this label. So now let's learn how to block unwanted group emails because you may find yourself on an email list that you no longer wish to be on. So it can be hard to find messages that are subscriptions. That's because they're likely spread over several folders or labels. And you can use Gmail search future to find all messages with an unsubscribe link. So if you go to the search bar, just click and type unsubscribe and then it will find all the emails that have an unsubscribe link. And then if you want to subscribe from a message, there are several ways to do it. The first one is to find the subscribe link. If you open the message that you want to subscribe, just go to the bottom and you're going to find a link here where it says unsubscribe here. And once you click on it, you will be able to discontinue any other message from them. Also, Gmail can detect an unsubscribe button at the bottom of an email. It will display an unsubscribe link at the top of the email next to the sender email address. So just click on the unsubscribe link and it will prompt a message so you can confirm your own subscribe. So now, Gmail has sophisticated algorithms in place to send some messages straight to your spam folder. It can find messages with no content, with misleading email addresses, or messages that appear to be phishing for your personal information. 
But if you want to do it yourself, let's learn how to flag a message as spam. So just open the email that you consider as spam. And then on the top bar, you're going to find the second icon that says reports spam. Just click on it and it will send it directly to the spam folder. So it can happen that you accidentally send a message to the spam folder. If you want to get it back, just click on the message and then click on the gray area that it says report not to spam. And it will send it back to your primary tab. Now, there's a special category of spam messages that are particularly harmful. These are scam and phishing messages. A scam message contains an offer that is false. A phishing message goes one step further. It uses the mail to gather your personal or financial information. An example is a message that claims to be from your bank asking you to click a link or enter your account number. If you get to find one, just open the message and go to the three dots and just find where it says report phishing and find a way that these messages won't be sent anymore. Knowing how to stop spam and how to filter unwanted messages is an important part of making your Gmail secure. It also helps by keeping your inbox organized so you can respond only to the messages that you actually want. Remember, you can get unlimited downloads of easy to use created templates with photos, presentation templates, and more with Envato Elements. We have millions of created digital assets with a simple commercial licenses and you can cancel anytime. Thanks for watching, I'm Sergio Sala and if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this Envato Top Plus channel if you want to know more ways to improve your Gmail workflow. See you, ciao.